As the sun rises on each new day, we have the opportunity to do God's work on earth. <laughs> Gestures of charity can be small, but if love is the inspiration, they will live on in the hearts of those we touch. Knights of Columbus have touched the hearts of many thousands of people throughout the world with the gift of life-changing wheelchairs. For children, teens, and adults in Mexico, the Philippines, Vietnam, Haiti, the Holy Land, and to veterans across the United States. The gift of mobility is a gesture of love that answers prayers of entire families. Working with Knights in Mexico, mobility has been given to thousands of families. The Teleton Rehabilitation, or Crete Centers for Children, work hand in hand with Knights to follow the path of doing God's work. The wheelchairs were sponsored by the Knights of Columbus. The children receive like a Ferrari. It's a very useful tool to look for their independence, their uh, own mobility wherever they go, which we'll will help them a lot. Well, I think the Knights are doing what we would call reaching out to people in need. And that is part of what preaching the gospel is, reaching out to people in need. The Philippines is a predominantly Catholic country with strong Christian and family values. It is also a country where many people live in extreme poverty with little or no help from the government. For more than 100 years, Knights of Columbus in the Philippines have worked hard to do charitable work in their local communities and are now helping distribute wheelchairs sponsored by Knights in North America. I just believe that God is with us today particularly because he sent the Knights of Columbus to help us. When I saw the people coming in disabled, very sad looking, and then getting a wheelchair and going away happy and so delighted, it was like, you know, God is with us. Knights of Columbus have answered many prayers in Vietnam. where wheelchairs are so obviously needed. The people were in the back, and they had to literally crawl up front to receive the chairs. And some of them like crawl on the feet, or on, four, on two hands, and they would crawl slowly up. Did you see the, the joy in the eyes, and, uh, and, and the tears of gratitude, and, and just this very, very joyful atmosphere. The moment we handed the chair over to them, we put them in it, the face lit up, they, they either smile because they were so happy to have this gift of mobility, or they cry, you know, not crying from sadness, but from being joyful and overjoyed. For Palestinian Christians in the West Bank and Israel, the wheelchairs sponsored by Knights give them hope for the future. After several days of delivering wheelchairs to towns throughout the West Bank, the Knights found a Christian woman living near the wedding church in Cana, who is in dire need of a wheelchair. We found this lady in Cana and it was very exciting and it really touched me to be able to help someone that really needed the help. The rest of the family was grateful to be able to see her move about on her own. Uh, she's going to take some little learning, but she'll, I'm sure within the next few weeks she'll be able to get around wherever she wants to go with the one hand. She did all the rest. She drove herself back to the patio 
on the outside and her sister-in-law was so grateful to see her. It touches my heart to be able to help somebody that needs help. It, uh, it's something very near and dear. Your charity does not know borders. That's great, that's great. This is the Catholic Church. This is the Knights of Columbus. You must love your identity and may the Lord bless you. The Knights' commitment to Haiti has brought prosthetics, wheelchairs, and rehabilitation to thousands of children and adults since early 2010. Visiting remote villages in Haiti's central plateau, the wheelchair team encountered stories of dire need and prayers answered by their wheelchair delivery mission. Monique was carried up the mountain on the backs of her neighbors to get her first wheelchair. Be able to give them something that they can use, like the wheelchairs that we're doing. Uh, the, the little girl that we helped out who had no legs, so to speak, she had to crawl around, somebody carried her on her back. And to see the joy that that little girl had, to see those people who really probably yesterday thought that that was going to be the way their life, and we came in and changed it for them. Years have passed since the devastating earthquake of January 2010, but the need of the Haitian people remain very immediate and real. Knights have an ongoing commitment to supply many more wheelchairs and will work hard to assist their brothers and sisters in need. Knights across America have delivered thousands of wheelchairs to veterans and VA centers in their local communities. The Knights of San Antonio and Bernie, Texas, delivered wheelchairs to the Audie Murphy VA Center in San Antonio. Well, many, many patients come here, they don't necessarily even own their own wheelchair, and when they come, they obviously don't feel well. So when they get to the front of the hospital and they need to get to a department, many can't even walk the distance that it takes. So it's hugely important for them that we have the volunteers that meet them at the door, but then the wheelchairs to do that. So the beautiful chairs that we got donated today will make a difference, and they're bright, they'll know that they're from the Knights of Columbus, they're branded, and they'll, they'll know every day when we push them in those wheelchairs that they were donated for them. The San Antonio, Texas Knights on Bikes escorted the wheelchairs to the Kerrville VA Center. I think one of the important things that you take from what Father McGivney's vision and our veterans today is making sure we're, we're taking care of one another. And that, I mean, when you look at our veterans, they have given so much for us and sacrificed so much for us that it's important that, that we recognize that and we do all we can to make sure we're taking care of them now. We took the opportunity to, with, with the wheelchairs to be able to go and make sure that our veterans have, have the proper gear and the necessary gear that they need to be able to function and to be able to get around in a dignified manner. I really do thank them. I need it. and I thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you for your service. You're very welcome. We smile. We celebrate. Pretty nice, huh? My boy made it go. And we give thanks for the gift it is to touch our fellow man and do God's work on earth. <laughs>